still not quite on the level of, you know, Kenny and whatnot. But automatic a Kirby. Uh, Blonde Kid played Horby yesterday. I think Horby, from what it sounded like from Horby, I think he made quick work. Right. But, you know, Horby got ranked this year. He's a very talented player. We'll see how Blonde Kid can do against, you know, one of his own boys. And I mean, if they are the same region, then it makes sense that... Blonde? Blonde Kid is Kirby. Okay. Wow. That's a uh, development... Yeah, that's, that's it. Kind of weird to think about. I I have I've seen Blonde Kid play Pika and Falcon. I have not seen him play. Kirby. Good back air there by Blonde Kid though. Back throw, forward smash. I yeah, he was under the plat, right? Could yeah. Just uh, forward throw. Oh no, he was at like 98 or something. Oh okay. Or, well, he wasn't able to get the kill. Off right into that F smash. One kid takes the first, but he's gonna trade the stock down for a great piece. But uh, blonde kid, I think, is playing this a little too grounded. Yeah, uh, I mean, again, he he probably has a good feeling of automatic style. I don't know how often they play, but I feel like he has probably a pretty good idea of what he needs to do to to make this matchup work for him. Right. He and doesn't seem to have pivot up tilt in his no. arsenal like we're saying. Oh, okay. Uh, I would uh, like to see automatic go under and come up with a, a up. back air on the shield. Yep. To back air to grab. Because you get so much shield pressure from the from the back air or the reverse back air that you can uh, get a stronger punish on him. And that's an easy kill. Uh, you really want, you need that to happen in this matchup. Whenever you can to get those tiny little Guaranteed gimps, or as close to guaranteed as you can get. Um, I kept challenging that uh, Pika's back air in the air, and Kirby's back air is incredible. But I, you know, if you don't have to challenge Pika's back air in the air, you should yeah. Um, just that's where the pivot up tilt will come in handy, because you can pivot up tilt under the back air and just you know that's a good uh, forty one, percent at least. One kid pulls back a little bit too much. Pretty close. Every time Blonde Kid uh, pulls ahead, automatic fires right back. Automatically. Oh, no. Oh, and then. <laughs> the forest smash. He's not in the worst position. Oh, what? He manages to scoot so over. Blonde Kid actually could have pulled him out with an up tilt. No jumps. Let's go. Yeah. Just goal number one should have been the cover the ledge. Transcendental down tilt and a good call out. So it looked like Automatic tried to ride the stage a little bit to hit the ledge. Surprised Blonde Kid was ready for that. Great up air. Nice up <laughs> Nice up Oh, shield break? No. What are you doing, Blonde Kid? Oh, maybe now because he, he angled yeah. it forward. Yeah. Somehow. And up air. Oh, up air. Oh my god. <laughs> Blonde Kid punishes. <laughs> Clip it. Uh, everyone's got a drink now. It's hard to clip it. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, for the shield break punish, Kirby, you can do uh, up air into like an air or something like that. Or up air into forward smash. Does that work on Pika? I know it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, heavies. If you're on the side plot, up air to down, I'm pretty sure that. That was a good up uh, forward air to take some more damage there. Uh, wasn't really punished, unfortunately. But now a grab is going to kill Pika no matter where. Yeah, I was going to say, there are a lot of things that will kill Pika that are not weak back there. <laughs> However... Judging by... Oh, oh, there! I mean, that should still be enough. Yeah, um... Wow. That was risky, because I was expecting reverse ledge there. Yeah. But... Now, judging oh. from what we've seen, though, Automatic really doesn't have combos uh, in which he's going to be able to kill Kirby. No, I mean, grab. this is... At this point, this is nearly insurmountable. Oh, but, well, maybe. Maybe he's going to make me eat my words. Yeah, I did say nearly. <laughs> grab. Oh, oh! The jump! Oh, can he pull it out? This is really bad for Blonde Kid right now. Can make like idiots? Maybe. Oh, I think he wanted another up there. there. Ooh. Oh, oh! Oh! That might be close enough to do it. Uh, Blonde Kid A will recover very high. Thunder? 
Oh, he gets the forward air. Yeah, it's Oh, that slow fall down air, that was the most punishable thing. Oh, he was too late on the back air. Back air is very slow. You gotta time it a little bit earlier. Oh, and dash attack. Dash killed. attack at a buck 80. Automatic had the comeback and he just blew it. Wow. If, your back can you imagine doesn't if come he, out. Yeah, if you time that back air just like a couple frames earlier. Literally a couple. Two. Two frames earlier. I think he would have had it. Blanket opting for Pika as automatic yeah. counter picks the Falcon. Oh, wow. All right. So, yeah, maybe Blonde Kid felt that that was too close for comfort. I don't know if he was, like, training up a secondary or what. Maybe a little uh, hubris of his own. But automatic saw the Pika. Started, you know, licking his chops. It's like, I'm going to go Falcon. It's a little up smash. Oh, uh, he's really smash heavy already. And that's it. Um, it's Falcon, you wanna you wanna save that up smash for when Pika lost an aerial at you, right? Yeah. Or no jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Um, well, if if they jump, you can just kind of catch him when he hits the ground, right? You can. Yeah. Uh, good I recovery. guess if you're afraid of an aerial coming out, you nice catch. Yeah. Great stock. Um, still even now. So Blonde Kid and Automatic just seem... I mean, this seems about as evenly matched of a... Uh, oh, okay. This seems like an evenly matched match yeah. between uh, the two. They seem, you know, Automatic playing, skill. playing too much at the ledge. Oh, but he... Yeah, he can. Oh! Double right. SD! Yeah, so he's playing too much at the ledge. He needs to take control of center stage and make, uh, make Blonde Kid come to him. Right? There's nothing to gain from going to the ledge. That's the hardest place for Falcon to, you know, really get a good combo. Yeah. Because you can do, you know, what we call the standard, the forward air, up air, up B. But he can, can DI that fairly easily. Good up air. But you get a grab at center stage. There we go. You start some up air. You did not wait for the first Great up air by right, Blonk Kid there. And this, oh, he was, he did double jump and he was slow to get up. Kid getting out automatic. of sticky situations here. Yeah, Automatic is playing kind of, uh, he's way too scared. Uh, nice, that nice. might That's do That's exactly though. what he had to yeah. do there. But he, he's playing very cautious, but not, like, uh... Oh! Uh, oh! That's it. Yeah. You need to try and go for, the, it. go for the ledge and hope he gets ledge DI. Yeah. Uh, we're in the, uh, player camp. 